Hello and welcome to 3dparadise.com. In this tutorial I'll show you some stuff about wires and hoses. So let's start with the hose. I want a hose to come from this piston point to this one. That's where my hydraulic oil is gonna flow. So this hydraulic will look like it's working as they do in reality. Um you need point where the hose goes in and where it goes in in the piston. You can create those the way you want, doesn't matter how. Uh, you just need to make sure you have to ha that you have uh, a little point here which is not attached to anything else. I like this one, this is an object by itself. Uh, that's because we're going to attach the hose to this point in the hoses options and you need a point as well here for the bottom part of the hose so now to creating the hose making hoses is very simple um, you go into the create and geometry extended primitives and hose you then create this anywhere in the scene you want, any radius, any height, doesn't matter. And um, then you go into the modify tab. And now we change this endpoint method to bound to object pivots. You may remember this from uh, the spring, which there is a tutorial on as well on the side, where we pick the top object for the top part of this. Um, hose and a bottom part for the bottom part of the hose. So I'll pick the top part and select the little part here and pick bottom object and choose the little part here. Now the hose looks like a hose. Just a very long one uh, but we'll fix that. Uh, we have to sort the tension and that's the tension on uh, the upper part and the lower part. I'll just set this to uh, one starter. And what? <coughs> now you can see the hose got a lot smaller and it's pretty much better. You can see if I increase this, then I'm gonna increase the tension on this side here and thus forcing it to go further down. But if I needed tension, it should be the opposite way from here and a little out, if you understand what I mean. Like this, for example. You can do it like that, but that's just not real. <laughs> so now we want to get rid of that flex thingy I have on it uh, because I don't. I just want a clean hose and I don't want it to be that wide. It, you can see it laps over my little thingies here. You, if you want that you can do that like but then you would also need a, a little thingy that uh, tensions the hose to the point that sound confusing so I'll just skip <laughs> past that. Um, to the size of the hose and um, that's in the hose shape on the round hose. You can also choose rectangular or D6 nose but we're gonna use the round and we're gonna lower this a little to one zero one point five actually like that and then I'm going to remove the flex because I don't want this hose to flex around. Um, you can change that if you, if you want this, you can do it, but I don't like it. So I'll remove it. This is for smoothness. Uh, and this is also for smoothness. This, the this is the sides on this angle and the car common hose parameter segments is on the long side. I can show that by doing this. Not that much. See now, if I change the common hose parameters, parameters, sorry, then you can see that I'm getting a lot less here. I just need 30, that's fine. And down here you can see the same on the other one. It's just our way, but I just need 
25 for this. <coughs> you can see I have a little flexing here. And um, when you try this, this may give very annoying results. Uh, and that's because the hose is a uh, it's leaping out doesn't know that automatically you have to choose where it has to exit the pipe and that's by the pivot points so if I select this object here go into pivot points and then I don't know if you can see it but I'll change this real quickly the hose is actually running towards the C axis and it's also doing it down here on this one so when you change this one's pivot by rotating for example you can see the hose is bending and following the C point um, oh sorry so if your model now looks like this when you create it and it's uh, so annoying you just select the pivots and align it the way you want so but you can see now that this object is actually transforming a little um, I don't want that so one thing you could do is to reset transform and scale <coughs> sorry that way the object uh, it is doing it anyway <laughs> because I'm doing it after the hose but it's a good way to uh, reset the transform and scale here then you can uh, move the pivot point as you want because that could be very annoying uh, when you're trying to <coughs> get your scene right so and you can do the same here depends on how you want it highlights uh, you can make it go around, go out but I just want it right here yeah that's fine and that's basically it for the hose now we got a perfect looking hose not perfect but it's alright <laughs> and cannot see it bend here that much but it is bending um, I can show you over here how it actually looks when it bends and if you look on this, I already set the pivot points to go down and down here as I want the hose to hang right below these boxes so back to the creation tab extended primitives and hose choose any size, any height and that should do it modify bound to object pivots pick top object just choose this one and bottom and you see again it's hanging really far down and I don't need that I just need a little bit like that and like that then I want to remove the um, flexing as I don't want that in this either like that and now I got a hose again and it's working as intended I hope yep it's flexing um so your hose will just you can check this out like as far as you want it will still follow and look the same and it can be really close so and that's basically it for the hose um you can make the hoses in a lot, a lot of other ways uh, I'll show you one which I use for wiring um uh, which also can be used for making hoses <coughs> but I choose the other one as it it's a little easier it's fast so but uh, for wires I'm just gonna try and make a wire go from down here and up there and I want it to bend up and down and like a snake or something so I'm gonna go into the create shapes and choose line and all these settings you don't need to change them now but when you want the wires to show up in your renders you have to enable and render um, you can change the if now this is really wide you can of course change them but we'll wait with this you need to make sure auto grid is on start new shape is not needed 
and then the